My name's Howard Grizzotti. Uh, I uh, have a PhD in art history. I think it was 1977, my advisor, Ann Morgan, uh, she was writing for the New Art Examiner in Chicago, which is an interesting magazine because it wasn't New York based. And so she took me to see the editor, the person who founded the magazine. So he said, well, here's a couple of shows you can review if you want. So I reviewed these shows in Chicago and that's how it began. Uh, when I was chair of the art history department, this is in the mid eighties, I invited Susie Goblick, who's a pretty well-known critic and friends of Jasper John and Robert Rauschenberg and that John K. that group, and to do a class so we got to be friends and she published an article in Art in America. She began the article by saying, quoting Kimu, who said, I once knew a man who was perfectly healthy, but his life had no meaning. And he became sick and died very soon. And I came to realize meaning was a secret to life itself. And my feeling about craft and even the arts in general is that they do have some meaning to give to the society. And I would like to do something meaningful rather than something to make money. Uh, I thought a lot about machine-made things, which it seems to me uh, like Mies van der Rohe's Barcelona chair, which I really like. It's a beautiful chair. He made it for the Barcelona Pavilion in 1929. You can still buy that chair. You can't buy a Sam Maloof chair. You can't buy a Nakasima chair. When he dies, they stop. So the craft objects are connected to people's lives to the artist, to moments in time. And I think to hold those objects is to have some connection to somebody and a moment in time and can't be replaced. So that's sort of propelled me forward uh, because I think that there is something that we can offer society, people like us in the arts, to make people start to see that there are other values that are more important than just making money. Now, a lot of art departments are getting fewer students because they're being told, go into these fields where you can make a lot of money. Well, money isn't the answer. So, so that's what I think we need to talk about. And I think the arts can move people in a way that makes them better human beings. Is that what I want to say? Well, this is something that I sort of thought about for a long time. And I came to realize that, yes, there's a difference between craft and fine art. Uh, so uh, I was thinking that there's a difference between the two and the difference was emphasized by Leonardo when he makes a difference between Michelangelo and Leonardo. Sculptors beat this wood with chisels, all this dirt and everything. But, but I thought the idea of function was essential to craft. And, and so what the artist, the craftsperson does is to manipulate the function of the object for aesthetic purposes. So how you make the object that's still functional has something to do with aesthetics. And that's a way of connecting something to the idea of art, not just fine art, but art. And, and so that's what struck me. And that's sort of what I tried to do. I mean, I was thinking of Bocas, but Bocas as platter is so important because we see it as a platter, but it's non-functional. And so he takes the idea of function and he manipulates it or plays with the idea of function to make a kind of meaning that you really couldn't do in painting. I did something at the Southwestern Georgia State University. There was a young woman who was in the art department and she was making a quilt. It was a beautiful quilt for a baby, but on the quilt were all of these pictures of rockets and rifles and bullets. And, and I thought, what a wonderful piece in wrapping a baby in this quilt, which is to keep the baby warm and protect the baby and all of these weapons on it. You can't do this with sculpture. You can, you can make a painting of it with painting, but you can't have the object the same way. And so there's something different about craft. And here was the function of this object, this quilt, carrying a message in a way that painting or sculptures could not do. And those are the things that I'm exploring. And, and it's not to say one is better than the others, it's just to say that they're different. And we can communicate things in a different way. We can't have a dialogue about what you know and what you don't know, what I know and what I don't know. You have to have a dialogue. There's a right and a left and you move forward when you have a dialogue. And so maybe functional craft is teaching us how to do these things. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm hoping. Uh, and so maybe we've come to see that, that living this kind of society on the internet isn't a real life at all. You can be popular on the internet, but have no friends.
hopefully that will change and the crafts can make that happen by looking at objects that are important and meant to be cared for, like a beautiful chair or a beautiful table. And the idea then that you have this object and sitting down and having a meal around it is also something very important. That's why we have an important object. The quality of things you have, not how famous they are, not how famous the designer is, but the quality of the object. I try to communicate my feelings about the field and about what we do, that what we do is serious. It's not a joke, it's really serious stuff. And in some ways, maybe we can change the society by what we do. And uh, I think that's important. And I think painting is important and sculpture is important, but serious artwork is important. And I think what people do in the craft field is serious. And, uh, and I think that we need to take it serious and be reminded of how serious this work is. And also make work that's serious, right? That, that we can try and embed something in the objects that will communicate something to the viewer and the user that will somehow make us all better in a sense. To be working in this field and trying to talk about these things, to me, is a kind of honor. I think that when the Craft Council engages serious dialogue and discussion and recognizes that, I think it's doing something very important in our society.